welcome to, or welcome back to perhaps, Let's Play Chrono Cross. Now, uh, I had been doing a series of this previously on the PS1, and uh, I kind of dropped off from that when the remaster was announced, figuring, oh, I'll just, uh, you know, pick this up again when the remaster comes out. I do apologize for not making a video explaining that, but uh, guess what? The remaster's out. So, let's do it. Now, I will say that uh, this is actually a re-recording of the first episode. I had some video glitching, um, some encoding issues uh, with my first take, so this is take two. Uh, however, I will be starting a new game. Um, it'll just look a little weird when I save at the end, because um, there will be a save file already there. So for now, well, let's enjoy the opening. I do love that they left the FMVs mostly untouched. Uh, you get that kind of grainy, pixely feel from, you know, the turn of the century there. 1999 was when this game came out, uh, but upscaled a little bit so that it looks good on a modern uh, monitor. Uh, yeah, I love this. So um, let's start jumping in here. A couple things to note is uh, I'm on PlayStation 4 for this one. So if you see any controls, there's the PS4 controller uh, buttons and such. Um, I've already looked through these, so I know what we're doing there. Uh, we're going to use default names for everything. Uh, I'll be reading most of the dialogue aloud. However, a quick note that just like a personal moral compass kind of thing, I don't use obscenities. So I will be doing some uh, on-the-fly censoring or skipping words entirely here and there. Um, I hope that doesn't bother anybody, uh, but yeah. Now I do appreciate uh, one thing uh, that I see here in the character set. There's all the accent marks, so we can put in all kinds of different names uh, if we want to rename our characters. For this playthrough, we're not going to, but I, I love the inclusivity of that option. That's pretty cool. Okay, here we have another grainy FMV sequence. Uh, if anybody watched the previous series that I started on this game, um, we know this is Fort Dragonia. Uh, if you haven't seen that, you know, maybe check it out, maybe don't. It's not my best work. Uh, but, you know, it, it's there on my YouTube channel. You can find it pretty easily. It 
Oh, I happened to get Lena. So in this opening sequence, you get Surge, Kid, and a random uh, character. Uh, I know it can be Lena and Orcha, and I think it can be Korcha. I don't know who all, if it's the entire cast of 40 some odd characters that have a chance of showing up here, or if it's a smaller pool. Anyway, uh, let's start reading this. What is it, Serge? You look troubled. This is it. There's no turning back now. Oi! Come on, Serge. Lena? Just you wait, Lynx. Today is going to be the day of reckoning. Say your prayers. Not that it'll do you any good. Ha 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 ha! Surge. Okay, now I'm gonna do a couple things here. Um, actually, just one. I'm gonna turn off all encounters. Two things, actually. Turn off all encounters, and we need to come into our customize options. Uh, last time we were using the Arnian wood frame, so I want to use that one in this playthrough as well. Um, and I want to change circle press to walk so that I run by default. I'm leaving uh, the vibration function off so that uh, if the controller vibrates, I don't want it to go buzz, buzz, buzz in the mic. Uh, this, this microphone tends to be surprisingly sensitive, so don't want to bother you guys with a buzzing controller. And out of curiosity, am I able to... No, I can't save anywhere. I can load anywhere, though. Okay, um, so I've turned off encounters because this part of the game, you can fight stuff, but you don't get to keep anything from the battles. You don't get to keep experience, you don't get to keep the spoils, so there's really no point in fighting here. Uh, it'll be much quicker for us if we just run through. This is going to take speedruns of this game to a whole new level. bad not up that way yet i'm glad i have random battles turned off they're not so much random as they are just battles okay let me flip this very fancy switch now we can use the elevator in the center Oh, we don't have to get them out of the way, we just have to walk through. Very nice. I love the quality of life improvements in this remaster so far. Even the auto battle feature, which seems a little cheesy, comes in handy when you want to fight some weaker dudes to gain stats, but uh, don't want to sit there and mash X over and over and over. It's nice to uh, just be able to auto battle with basic attacks. Oi! What the heck just happened? There's an example of that uh, on the fly censorship for you. What are we doing out here? Or rather, I guess the inflection would be different on that. What are we doing out here? Wow! We're so high up! Is this thing floating? Did it feel like your body passed through the floor just now? This sure is some fort. Eh, hey, Serge? Eh? You alright, mate? You've been acting all weird. We don't know what's up ahead, so just stay on your toes, eh? Now this is in take one of this episode where the video glitched out, so... Let's hope it doesn't happen this time.
Hmm. A premonition. Surge. Good morning, Surge. Come on, sleepyhead. Get up. Normally, there would be a trophy that shows up right here. That's the other note. Since I'm playing on PS4, you might see some trophies pop up as we go through. Um, but yeah, I've already got it <laughs> from take one of this episode. I will note that the icon for auto battles off, or not auto battle, but encounters off, stayed on the screen through the FMV, which I think was kind of annoying. That's battle boosts. We want that off and we want encounters back on. Okay. I wish they would hide those icons during the animated cutscenes, but that's okay. Good morning, Surge. You're finally up. The sun's already reached high noon. By the way, didn't you have plans to meet with Lena this morning? Lena came by to see if you were up, but you, young man, were still off in Never Never Land. You shouldn't break promises like that. Girls can be pretty scary if you make them angry. Yeah, yeah. Late 90s writing. At its finest. Big air quotes on the word finest. Okay, I want to talk to you, because I think you can be a party member later. Yo, Sergi. I heard you totally blew off Lena this morning. I didn't think you had it in you. That was real gutsy of you. Guess that kind of shows her who's boss, eh? Don't tell her I said so, but my sister's a bit too quick to lash out. Could you, like, make her be a little nicer to me? You have my support all the way. I'll keep my fingers crossed for you. Okay. Basically, I know who in this town can join me later, but I don't know exactly what all the flags are to have them be willing to join. Oh, Serge, how goes it? How would you like to join everyone for my lecture? Today's lecture is the fundamentals of attack and the art of elements. You know what? We don't need to. Maybe next time. Oh, it does not interest you? Oh well. Come again, Sonny. I promise to take it easy on you. Now, if this is your first time playing Chrono Cross, I absolutely recommend you follow that little tutorial. It'll teach you a lot about basic combat and um, using elements, which in this game are spells. Uh, they, they're called elements. Oh, hi, Sergi Poo. Me, I'm a bit busy right now. Have you already met up with Lena? Me think she was by the pier. Poshal, the wonder dog. We can have her join us later. She's not a great character, but I like uh, to get as many characters on my roster as I can. Of note is there's like 40 some odd characters in this game, uh, and not all of them can join you on one playthrough. There's at least one spot in particular where I know you have to go with one of three characters. Okay, so here's Lena. You're late, Serge. Sleeping in as usual, I suppose. You promised you'd go get some Komodo dragon scales for my necklace, remember? Since you were late, my mom asked me to babysit the kids. Woohoo! Sergi, Lena, look at me! Come on, you guys should join us. It feels really good! Unlike the rest of you, we're not here to play. Don't swim too far out now. Okay, gotcha! Kids sure have it easy. Remember when we were like that? Not a single care or worry on our minds. How each day lasted an eternity, filled with newness, fun, and excitement. But the important thing now is not our childhood, but my Komodo scale necklace. Yes, we have to face up to reality and leave each day anew. So, I want you to go to Lizard Rock and get some scales for me. I would join you, but I still have to watch the kids. It's your fault. You were late. Once you've collected some Komodo dragon scales, I'll catch up with you at Opasa Beach. Is that okay with you, Serge? Sure, no problem. Good. 
that's what I wanted to hear. Okay then, don't just stand around. Go collect some scales at Lizard Rock. Let's see. I think three should be enough. Good luck, Serge. I'm counting on you. Alright, let's head down to Lizard Rock. But first, let's make a stop at the store. Why, hello there, Serge. Can I interest you in something? I have some great elements. Would you like to take a look? Um, show me weapons and armor. Sure, just one second. I don't think we can... Yeah, so in this game you can't just buy weapons. You have to bring uh, parts from battles and treasure chests and finding them out in the world uh, before you can make weapons. So you pay with parts and the blacksmithing fee. So I can't actually get any weapons or armor right now, or accessories. I have nothing to disassemble either. Thanks, come again. I'm not going to reread shop dialogue every time. Uh, show me your elements. Let's see, I know that I have... Oh, excuse me. Hmm. It's getting a little late in the evening here. That yawn just overtook me. I know that I have equipped Tablet and Cure by default, and I just so happen to know that we find Fireball uh, in the first area. So I'm gonna buy Aqua Beam. I'm gonna buy just one. Now's a good time to talk a little bit about the element grid. So in this game, we have what's called an element grid, and you'll see that Surge here has a tablet in his level 1 element grid. This is a consumable item, and that X1 says that we'll use one when we use tablet, and the X5 means we have five of them on hand that we can use. Oh, I'm pushing the wrong buttons here. At level 2, we have Cure plus one meaning that Cure is a level 1 spell, but it has a plus minus of 7, so it can go up to, I, I believe, level 8 at the highest, is where you can slot it in. And if it gets a plus on it, then it has a stronger effect. Now, if you had something that was level 2, plus or minus, whatever, and you put that in a level 1 slot, it would have a lesser effect. So. Um, that can be good if you have a really high level element that you want to use but you don't have a high enough slot for it. You can take the penalty of having a little weaker spell to, you know, use the spell in the first place. Now in this case I don't have anything in element level 3, so I'm going to go ahead and equip that aqua beam that we just bought. Since this is a level 1 spell, uh, slotting it in at level 3 is going to give us a plus 2. So that'll actually be pretty strong when we use it. Um, oh, the other thing to mention is that Aqua Beam and Cure are blue element, and Tablet is red element. This is like, if you think of them in terms of other RPGs, like red is fire type, blue is water type, um, I think yellow is earth type, green is either plant or wind. I'm not super clear on that uh, offhand, I'll learn that as we go. The other thing we can do here is we can use elements, and that is any elements that we have not uh, associated to a character can be used, such as if I had some more tablets uh, or other usable items, or even something like Cure. Uh, I could use it outside of battle. Now, uh, we can see Surge's little stat card there. Let's go and look at that a little closer. So Surge here has the basic stats. I don't need to cover what HP is or anything like that. If you know your RPGs, then you're pretty well versed in, you know, basic stats. Um, but the innate is interesting here. Every character has an innate element. Surge's is white. So any white elements that I equip on Surge will have a more powerful effect. Uh, any of the opposing elements that I equip on Surge, I think have a lessened effect. In, in this case, it's white and black. Um, I don't remember offhand if the other pairing is red-green or red-blue, uh, and then yellow ties into the other one. So it would either be red-blue, 
and green yellow or red green and blue yellow that's something i'm going to need to look into uh, as well uh, as we continue to play and then the profile just shows some interesting information uh, about the character um, equipment items are all pretty standard so i'm not going to cover those let's go for it now that we've got our strong element equipped uh, we are perhaps ready for some battles and not to disappoint but these early battles i'm just going to be doing auto battle because they're all very straightforward and just spammy so let's double click both of our joysticks to turn on auto battle and bump this guy So auto battle uh, is a new feature in the remaster. This lets us automatically attack just using basic attacks. And uh, I'll be using this for quite a lot of randomish battles, to be honest, uh, just because we don't necessarily need to use powerful elements on weaker monsters. Uh, elements don't get used up unless they have a quantity like tablet. Uh, you can use each element once per battle. Uh, and then consumable ones, if I have no tablets left in my reserve, then I can't use tablet. But something like that uh, aqua gun or cure, uh, I can use it once per battle and it will always refresh after battle because it's not a limited quantity thing. So after battle here, Surge gained one hit point. I'm going to go ahead and use max healing without using consumables. So this will use his cure spell. I got 61 gold and some spoils that I can take back to the blacksmith and make items. There's Fireball. Now honestly, I don't like to use the consumable um, elements quite so much, so I'm going to replace Tablet with Fireball. That will leave me with Cure, which I can use once per battle. Oops, where's the... If I could just remember what button does what. <laughs> Here we go. So now I've got Aqua Beam, Cure, and Fireball at my disposal for battles. And I think I'll talk about how those work in the next battle. Let's go ahead and block up this cave. Oh, turn Auto Battle off before I forget. Scare this Komodo dragon into the cave where he's trapped and we can fight him. Okay, so let's talk about elements in battle real quick. First thing we want to do is we need to attack. So attacking uses stamina. I can use one, two, or three stamina, and the percentage likeliness that it's going to hit is shown next to each one. So the stronger attacks do more damage but are less likely to hit. So I'll use level one which ups the hit percentage for all of them, so another level 1. Now I feel like level 2 has a good uh, hit percentage. You might notice in Surge's other card, the one that's blinking, it now says level 2. That's because I've hit uh, with 2 stamina, and I can now use elements up to level 2. So let's take a look at what that means. I can come into element, and it'll put me on the level 2 elements right away. So I could use Cure, I can use Fireball, but I don't have access to Aqua Beam yet because I haven't used 3 stamina. So let's use a third stamina. In fact, I'm going to use two more stamina, finish off one of them, and now let's go ahead and use an element. We have access to Aqua Beam plus two, so why not? You'll notice Komodo Pup it has an innate color of blue, uh, so it's not going to do as much damage as it might, but I think being a plus two will make up for the difference. Yes, indeed. Okay, Surge gained one hit point, 48 gold, a couple of bones, and a Komodo scale. 
Okay, so that's one of our three quest items that we're looking for. Some tablet. I'm gonna turn auto battle on. And for battles that really don't matter, to be honest, um, I'm not gonna do anything interesting in this battle. So I'm gonna turn on the speed up feature. That'll make this go by a little more quickly since it's just uh, somewhat boring, repetitious. Attack, attack, attack. As far as I can tell, auto battle will never use elements. It just uses stamina attacks, which are your basic physical attack with the weapon that the character has equipped. We want to turn a uh, double speed off after battle because it looks really weird in the overworld. Oh, okay, I used cure. I found some spoils and some gold. Alrighty. I think the audio might be a little bit laggy. I'm not sure if that's the monitor of my recording software or if it's the capture card being a little weird. Hopefully it's not too off during the final recording. Um, but anyway, it's just music and sound effects. It's not that big of a deal, to be perfectly honest. All right, this one is a game of chase, and uh, I caught up to him. So here we go. I'm leaving auto battle on because these guys are fairly uh, shallow in the hit point pool. So I don't need to worry too much about fighting them. While we're fighting these guys, look up in the upper left. See where it says field effect. Every time you use a spell, uh, the inner circle changes to the color of the element that you used. I said spell, I meant element. Um and pushes the current color out by one ring. So when you get all three of those rings to be the same color, then uh, elements of that color are boosted and you can use certain special attacks, such as summons, which we won't get until a little bit later in the game. Oh, there's a camouflaged guy here. Anyway, auto battle at double speed. If I can actually get any hits in. So you won't see field effect changing in this battle because I'm not using any elements. Um, but when we come to the boss of this area, I'll do manual control and I'll use some elements so that we can see field effect changing. Use cure, pick up my spoils. We can go through here to grab this treasure chest. Which is an ivory helmet that I want to equip right away. Ivory helmet is pretty good. It gives us some more defense and magic defense. I always found it funny, you can't actually jump down the little waterfalls here, even though they're very small but you can totally jump into this unknown hole because that's apparently less dangerous than a very, very small drop of elevation in the water. RPG logic, man, what can you do? Okay, we want to get rid of this enemy here. Turn on the speed up. So that rock uh, that this enemy was standing next to is going to be useful after the battle. Which with this speed up is blessedly quick. Again, this quality of life is... Uh, quality of life improvements in this game. Ah, very good. Big thumbs up from me. Okay, so we need to push this rock sort of carefully to get it in the right spot. So that it bumps this treasure chest. 
and the chest will float up and we can open it. It takes a while, so uh, if you need to go to the kitchen to get, or get a snack or refill your water, you know, while that treasure chest is floating up, might be a, a good time to do so. Of course, I'm just being sarcastic. It doesn't take that long. <laughs> okay, so let's equip this silver loop, which will give us some more hit percent which Surge apparently needs, because I'm seeing a lot of misses coming off of his attacks. Um, I like to fight everything in an area at least once when I play this game. Um, just because you can continue to gain stats piecemeal, and they add up over time. The more stats you can go into boss fights with, the better. This game isn't particularly difficult, but I don't see any need to make it hard. I, I enjoy the game for the settings, the story, and the characters, and the battle system, uh, but not the difficulty of battle. So while I don't want it to be easy peasy boss fights, uh, it's not, you know, Soulsborne. We're not looking for a punishing experience here. All right, seems like Surge is uh, hitting a little more consistently now. That's good. Silver Loop is helping us out. I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Loop and not like Silver Lupe. There wasn't an accent mark above the E or anything. I don't know. I guess it doesn't matter that much. Okay, that's a cool power-up. Um, gain some strength, resilience, and magic. Those base stats are really good uh, at low levels. Can make a big difference in the calculation of damage. And especially since we've got a boss fight coming up fairly soon, we want to make sure that we are ready for it. Alright, let's speed up this auto battle and just get through it. There we go. Okay. Alright, so we come to this cliff and it's going to tell us we press X to jump. So we wait for that guy. Oh no, I missed. Oh, I've done that three times now on uh, recording. Um, the first one in my first playthrough attempt, the first one in take one of this episode and just now. And of the three, that's the first time I've missed him. And that's the second time I've missed him. <laughs> okay. ends up taking too many attempts, I'll probably cut it out in editing. Do one of those silly wipe cuts. Nope, I got him. Okay. Ignore my comments about post-editing. <laughs> Not necessary. Alright, just auto-battle our way through this. Now I want to turn auto-battle off because here comes the boss. Mama's mad that we've been messing with all these Komodo pups. As she rightfully should be, but we, we do have to fight for our life here. Okay, we've got some elements built up. Uh, this seems like a good time to use an element, but generally uh, it's best to use elements when you have full stamina. So for now, what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to attack for one stamina, one stamina again. I'm going to back out and defend. She'll come up and hit me, I'm sure, yep. Yeah. 
now my stamina has recovered. I've got all seven. So, let's use an element. Since it takes seven stamina to use an element, it's better to go to zero stamina than to go negative. You'll recover more quickly and be open to attack for less time. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Let's build up some stamina levels again. Let's go with one, and this the two, two, and one. And then, oops, back out and defend. Oh, well, she didn't attack this turn. Uh, so now we can use another element or we can attack and defend. I know she's gonna use a skill pretty soon. So I think we're gonna go risky. Now you notice when I used that last element, the field effect inner circle turned blue. So that's what I was talking about earlier. Now I'm gonna use another element, but this one's gonna be red. Let's use fireball. That did some good damage. In fact, that did enough to finish the fight. Okay, great. She didn't have time to use her skill. We reached a new growth level. So these star levels are important. You get them after beating bosses. Uh, they let you get higher stat maximums, and eventually they'll let you use summon spells. We're still quite a ways out from that, but upping our stat cap is nice. As you see, I gained several stats that time and got the third Komodo scale. Okay, let's get out of here. Here we are at Opasa Beach. This is where Lena is supposed to meet up with us. Now, I want to keep these episodes about 30 to 45 minutes, so we'll be uh, ramping it up pretty soon, but oh, I want to see the big story development uh, for the, the big ending to the first episode. There you are. Sorry I'm late. I hope you didn't wait too long, Serge. Well, how'd it go? Did you get the Komodo dragon scales? Oh, they're beautiful. I'll be able to make a great necklace with these. Thank you, Serge. It sure has been a long time since we last came here. We used to come so often. The sea never changes, does it? It's been rolling in and out like this since long before we were born. It's been here for eternity, it seems. It's probably seen many things, heard many things. It'll probably keep rolling in and out, in and out, long after our lifetime, without a single change. Hey, Serge. Remember that time we sat and talked like this back when we were kids? With the gentle sea breeze and the tranquil sound of the waves? Just the two of us, talking? Do you still remember that day? Uh, well, I, the player, don't because I've been with Serge for about 35 minutes now. But, canonically, yeah, Serge remembers. Really? You do. So you haven't forgotten about the promise we made that day? Hee. <laughs> that makes me happy. But aren't memories strange? Just when you think that you've forgotten about something, it comes floating back into your heart. I guess it's just lying there and wait, waiting for the right moment. Why? We might even remember this very moment someday. 
in 10, 20 years, when we're all grown up and married and have kids of our own? When that time comes, I wonder what kind of adults we'll be. What kind of life will I be leading? I wonder what I'll make of this day. You know what? We'll never forget this day. Yeah, I hope you're right. Um, Serge? There's something I've been wanting to... Serge... What? What's wrong, Serge? Serge? What are you doing there, boy? It's dangerous to sleep out here. You all right, boy? What on earth are you doing lying down, anyway? For a second there, I thought you might have been a dead body washed ashore. Where's Lena? You're the only one I saw when I got here. Are you a friend of Lena's? I believe she's in the village babysitting. Well, I'd best be on my way. Anyway, if you're looking for Lena, you should stop by the village. You know, you shouldn't be playing out here, boy. Wouldn't want anything to happen to you now. Hmm. Odd. Well, to get back to the village, we have to run through Lizard Rock, and we're going to do that next time. So let's go ahead and save our game here. You'll notice there's already a save game here. Uh, that's from the first take of this uh, that had the glitchy video, so we're going to overwrite that. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, please uh, leave a like on the video. Uh, if you didn't like it, go ahead and dislike it. Let me know what I can do better next time in a comment. Uh, if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe. I usually post these on Mondays. This one is coming out on, I believe, a, a Wednesday? No, today's Wednesday. It'll be out on Thursday. Um, just because I wanted to get the first episode out there as soon as the game launched. But look forward to Chrono Cross uh, on Monday and a variety of different games on Friday. Uh, I was in the middle of a Let's Play Link's Awakening without commentary uh, when my channel went dormant. So now that I'm reviving it, I'll be uploading uh, the rest of that series and probably do Chrono Cross a little more often. I might actually do Monday, Wednesday for Chrono Cross because I'm really excited for this remaster. So yeah, again, just thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.